women in general have all of the inherent good characteristics for being a, a successful investor. They seek out advice. They do research. They do not generally take excessive risk. These are all things that you'd like to have in somebody managing your money. But then they, they often come with this, this fourth characteristic, which is not helpful, which is they somehow think still that they don't really understand this business and probably wouldn't be good at it. And, and how we get over that, that hesitation on women's part is, is a challenge, and we're still working on it. Smith's on a roll. So I mean, I mean that in the sense that it, Smith's always been strong academically. I think that the, the, the push to truly be relevant globally to women all over the world, and not only to be globally relevant to women, but to be looking at the challenges the world faces and taking them on, you know, men, women, the whole deal, that if they keep you know, if we all keep working in that direction, this little place in Northampton, Massachusetts has the opportunity to be a powerhouse out there. Uh, I've spent a lot of time since, since I left the investment business and moved over to working in the not-for-profit sector initially with Oxfam America, which is a, a very effective global international development group. That work sent me into villages and countries I never would have gone to as a tourist. And you go to a village and you meet with a group of women who have created a, their own savings and loan association, if you will, or they are running a water users association and they're planning to build an irrigation system. Whatever, whatever these women are up to, you come into that village and you are literally embraced by these women. And they're moved that you showed up. There are connections to be made between women all over the world. And when those connections happen, it's a powerful thing. And when Smith was founded, the whole point was to get women well-educated and out into the world. And now we can just go farther, deeper in doing that. That's what it means to me. Well, if you talk about poverty in the developing world and women in poverty, if you're working on uh, issues of availability of water in a very poor country, it's important to have an irrigation system. It's important to have good water and sanitation systems. But the most important thing is at the, at the starting point to create a water users association and make sure there's a heck of a lot of women on that association because they're the ones who do the most activity with water and have them have the say in the design of that system. But it doesn't start with the giving of a water system. It starts with the empowering of women on that water users association. And that's just one example. Uh, I would say that my proudest accomplishment is not my success at Smith or my success in the investment business or even uh, the raising of two really great sons who are now 28 and 30 and out of the nest and doing good work. Uh, a couple of years ago, both my parents passed away. They were 89. They died six months apart. And in the four years leading up to their death, uh, I was based in San Francisco. They were in New York. And I went back a week out of every four weeks and was just, I was with them. And that way, they had a, a much, uh, they had much greater peace of mind as things got tough for them. And I was close to them at a very intense time in their lives. And when they died, I had no regrets. I didn't say, I will, geez, I was too busy to be there. I was too important doing important things. So I'm, I'm most proud that I got that right, that I understood what was important in that moment, and I was there. <laughs>